Hi friends, let's do the discussion of the osteochondroma. It's a most frequent benign bone tumor. Such patients are usually asymptomatic, but you know what, sometimes it might lead to deformity of the bone or it may interfere with the function of adjacent structure like that of uh, tendons. Uh, so the patient might do the x-ray and radiographically it's very easy to diagnose the osteochondroma. Uh, but sometimes orthopedic surgeon might uh, send it to you for histopathological examination. So this was the case from 22 year female patient. Uh, the biopsy was received from the lower end of femur. So let's start the discussion. Uh, usually such osteo osteochondroma occur in the metaphysis and the common side include the lower end of femur, upper end of tibia, upper humerus and the pelvis. Now we will observe it in the microscopically. Uh, you can able to see the cartilage cap. Uh, the name itself suggests it consists of two portion. Uh, that is the cartilage cap and the bony trabecula. So this is the cartilage cap. Uh, it's made up of cartilage cap. This is the cap portion. Okay, this is the cap. And then beneath which there is a presence of bony trabecula. This is the bony trabecula underneath the cartilage. All these are bony trabecula, uh, which are usually in the continuity with the cartilage. Uh, this uh, cartilage cap is usually made up of the hyaline cartilage. So this cartilage is hyaline cartilage. And it's interesting that its uh, cytoplasm is usually periodic acid C positive. Uh, usually the thickness of this cartilaginous cap is up to six to seven meter seven millimeter in our case it was uh, five millimeter so it can be six to seven millimeter and sometimes the thickness might be up to one centimeter uh, this is the another field which was showing the cartilaginous cap and beneath with that is the presence of bony trabecula so this was the case of osteochondroma Hope my video will be helpful to you. If you like the video, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you very much.